Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for joining me today for our Palm Sunday lesson. Let us begin with a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together here today. We ask you to please help us to remember to act as Christ has taught us to. Help us to be kind to others and take care of those who are in need. We pray especially for the poor, the needy, the sick, the elderly, and those who may be alone. Please help us to have strength and courage to love and serve you as you would want us to. In your name we pray, amen. Okay. So our first lesson was about the baby being born to the mother Mary and the father Joseph. Our second story was about the baby growing and becoming a boy. The third story is about the boy becoming a man. He went to the River Jordan where he was baptized by his cousin John. The fourth story was about Jesus wandering in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. While he was there, he was tempted many times. The fifth story was when Jesus came back and was trying to figure out what his work was really to be. He came close to people and he made them change. Today's story is about Jesus going to Jerusalem for the last time. It was the time of Passover, and the city was full of people from many different lands. They thought Jesus was coming to be king, but they weren't paying attention. He wasn't riding on a great white horse when he came into the city. He wasn't being carried by soldiers. He was riding on a donkey, and it wasn't even his. He had borrowed it. Still, that Sunday when Jesus came into Jerusalem, people waved palm branches, which were a sign of kings. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Jesus went into the temple to teach. Every night, he went back to the Mount of Olives with the Twelve. The people watched him and whispered that the Mount of Olives was where angels were supposed to come down to make an army to drive away the Roman soldiers. One day when Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, do you see that old woman over there? She's going to put something in the money box. Listen, did you hear anything? No, she put the smallest coin in the box. That was all the money the woman had. Now, here comes a rich man. He had so much money to put into that money box that he had to have help to carry it. His money makes a huge clanging and ringing as they pour it into the box. But I wonder, which one really gave the most? The old woman or the rich man? Some may say that the rich man gave the most. Some say the old woman. The temple guard said, on Thursday, we will take him. But on Thursday, they could not find him. That evening, Jesus and the 12 hurried through the dark streets to a house. They climbed up the stairs to an upper room and shared their last supper together. After they had everything they wanted to eat, Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it and said something like, whenever you break the bread like this and share it, I will be there. He also took a cup of wine, gave thanks to God for it and said, whenever you share a cup of wine like this, I will be there. I wonder what he was really talking about. He was always saying things like that. How could they know what he meant? They did not forget and later they would understand. Suddenly, 
Judas got up and left. The rest sang a hymn and then went to the garden on the Mount of Olives. Jesus wanted to pray. When he was finished, he joined the twelve. But Judas came out of the dark and greeted him. This was a signal for the temple guards to take Jesus. They too came out of the shadows and took Jesus away with them into the night. The 12 disappeared into the darkness as well. Now I wonder if there's something in this room I can find that I can put next to that story. Maybe. Money box. I wonder if you have something at home that could go with this story.